Freddie Williams. And here's another question in my uh, long line of Q&A uh, behind the scenes of drawing comics or creating comics. And um, this question comes from uh, <laughs> C-A-R-A-P-U-L-C-R-A-0-1. I won't try <laughs> to uh, pronounce it. Hi, Freddie. Um, I have a quick question. I'm interested in your book, The DC Comics Guide to Digitally Drawing Comics. Uh, the thing is, um, I used uh, Adobe Photoshop like 10 years ago, and I don't remember how to use it. My question is, do I need to learn how Adobe Photoshop works before I buy this book? Um, you need, uh, first of all, thanks for the question, um, and it's a good one. The, the DC Comics Guide to Digitally Drawing Comics does not cover all the fundamentals of, of Photoshop. It is not a how-to book for Photoshop itself. So you'll need to have a basic understanding of it before you pick up my book. Um, now, I, I mean, that being said, I take about half a chapter, better part of a chapter, going through some of the basics of what the, the different palettes are in there, the layers palette, the tools palette, the paths palette, that sort of thing, um, which will help to get you up to speed if you're a little rusty, or it'll be a good refresher for those who, who are beginners but still are already kind of familiar. Uh, and then advanced users just kind of skip over, you know, skim through it and, and keep going. My suggestion is if you're, you know, loosely familiar with Photoshop like you used it here 10 years ago, it says in your, in your question, um, to go ahead and take a look at, at the how-to book. Uh, I tried to make it as step-by-step -step as I could, so oftentimes I'm, I'm saying go to file, then go down to new, then it pops up a new document window, and then use these settings, So, um, or right-click here, and then go to transform, or whatever it is. Um, meaning I don't just say, <clears throat> and then you change your image size, and next we go on to something else. You know, I actually say how to change the image size, or how to save out the, the different settings, or whatever. So. Um, even if you weren't to, to purchase the book right away, if you just go to your local bookstore and just thumb through it uh, and get a feel for whether you think it'll it'll be you know easy enough to use, um, I try to make it very user friendly. Uh, if it is, then, then go ahead and pick it up. And if you have a question that's not addressed in the book or a question on how to do something and, and the book isn't 100% clear, you can also do Google searches. Uh, that's what I, I supplement a lot of my my how-to stuff, uh, meaning my own learning um, with just doing Google searches and, and looking at other people's videos and that sort of stuff. People are very friendly. It's, it's great to have that sort of community, even if you don't know each other. Um, so that would be my suggestion. Uh, you need a basic understanding of Photoshop. It sounds like you might already have that. And then from there, you just learn. So uh, I hope that helps. Good question. And um, let me know if you have any more. Uh, take care.